Hi, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by as we continue to talk about the Art Rage features and the new ones, not just any old features. And today we're going to talk about Paint Symmetry. And you can access that from the menu, Tools, and Paint Symmetry. Here we are. So this is the tool here. And what we have is on canvas mirror to the strokes that you create with your paint and drawing tools. And you have control over the number, angle, and the center point of the axis. And also you can have mirrored symmetry or rotational symmetry. Instead of talking about it, let me just show you. So here is your on-screen hockey puck uh, that we control everything from. So the default is four. And let me just uh, show you right away. Since I'm not going to be really drawing anyway, let's just uh, find something fun uh, to play with. Cruise. Okay, so here's the default. And this is what happens. So now I can cross over and get this now let's start um, changing the segment because this is the default so hold down the option key on the Mac and alt key on the window and I can drag to change the number of axes so you can get up to 12 so as I drag to the left it decreases if I drag to the right it increases and looks like if I go across the axis, it changes. Okay, so. Yeah, I didn't know that. I learned something new every day. Okay, so in any case, uh, you have all your different axes here. And you can just keep creating. Also, if I hold down on the Command key on Mac and Control key on Windows, I can click and drag the axes. So I can adjust those uh, to where I want. Okay. Now let me just decrease this a little bit. Make this so you can see things a little better. Let's just clear clear this layer for now. Now let me show you another way to rotate the axis of symmetry. So I'll click on the hockey puck and I'll make sure allow axis drag is selected. And then when I'm right on the axis, I'll get a rotation symbol. So if I'm not on that, I'll be drawing or painting. So I have to make sure the symbol is selected, and then I can rotate it however I want. And if I hold on Options key and create more, I can still rotate all of those also. So it doesn't matter how many axes I have available. I can still use this to rotate. And I'm going to turn that off for now. Okay, so right now we have mirrored symmetry. So that's what's going on on the outside. Now I'm going to choose rotational symmetry. And let's go inside. And this may be hard to see, but you see each one is different. It doesn't mirror anything across the other side. So let me just uh, show you clearly. So let me go back to mirror symmetry. So on this outside one, we see each axis is a mirror of the left and right. But what's happening on the inside with the rotational symmetry is that it's just going around and around. So it's, there's no mirror, mirroring anymore. So what you have is things coming to a nice little iris like that. So that's rotational symmetry. Now another thing as even though these axes are there, you're not confined to the segments. So right now I'm in rotational and I can go across I can go across the line. And I can do the same in mirrored. So I'm not, these segments don't bind me. They're not a cage. I can go across and, and do whatever I want with those. Now let's take a look at what else is available in the menu. I can set the axis angle, so by whatever degree from 0 to 360. 
Uh, so I can set the center, center to symmetry. So I can place the X and Y and percentage points uh, to get the screen position. So math for artists, you know, <laughs> who would have thought? But the engineers have included it. So if you're an artist who likes to use math, you can make use of this. So it's here for you. And also I can set the number of segments directly. So I can go eight, you know, up to 12 and lowest, what do I can add axis symmetry? So to my eight. So if we go back and check my number of segments, it was eight and now it's 10. So it seems to add um, two more segments. And also I can subtract it. So I can remove the symmetry axis and I check the number of segments and it's back to eight. Of course, I could count this, but I just want to show you quickly. All right, let me clear this. And let me choose something else in our little sticker spray. Let's use uh, gift boxes. OK, right now I have mirrored set. Okay, so here it perfectly mirrors everything uh, there. But now if you check on your options, this is only a sticker spray. Didn't mean to open that. Uh, you have variation symmetry. Now, if I uncheck this, now when I draw, there's a variation. So if you look closely, the boxes have changed colors. They're not the same all the way around. With the, with the second stroke that I do. So this first one, if you look at they're all blue, but if you look at this here, they change, they've changed colors. So you get, so when you uncheck variation symmetry, then this becomes more random. It doesn't, it doesn't, there's no perfect symmetry to it. So you uncheck, when you uncheck variation symmetry, then you get a random variation of of your sticker spray. Okay, so let me show you something else. So now with a selection, so now with a selection, it only mirrors what's within the selection. So let me choose another. Let me just go for paint here. So it's clear. So now that's within the selection, but if I go out of the selection, then nothing happens. Nothing happens anywhere else. It only happens within this space. Okay. Now if I use the transform tool, transform also ignores the symmetry. And if I use the text tool, text is not affected by the symmetry. And likewise, if I use the fill tool, the fill is not affected by the symmetry. So this is on another layer. So when it's not affected, it creates its own layer. So it's not on the symmetry layer. And the same goes for your stencils and rulers. They're not affected by the symmetry either. OK, so I think I've covered everything today with symmetry. So thank you for stopping by. I want you to share, rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember to go out and just create. Thank you. Bye.